This day did not go as planned, so I'm just gonna take you guys through it. I was on my way to a radiology building when I got a call that I needed to properly take care of this service. The pole had to be replaced because the pipe fell, the pole fell, uh, and in that process, it nicked a lot of the wiring. And so the utility company temporarily bugged it, but obviously completely unsafe, so I'm here to fix it. We are responsible for the first 10 feet of rigid up the pole. So I basically broke down what was initially there, put it in the back of my van and got my new piece of rigid out. And so the problem is that the customer's house is at least 150 feet away from this pole and it's an underground service. And I really didn't feel that it was necessary to charge the customer to rerun that entire run with pipe and new wire. So I gave my inspector a call and I said, can I burndy crimp and shrink wrap this service wire together and we can put it back up the pole like this? And he said, that's completely fine. So I did exactly that. I used cold shrink because I didn't have my heat gun on me at the time, which was fine because this cold shrink I like a little bit better. They are a pain in the ass to obviously manipulate, but once they're snug, they're good to go. So. I basically did that with each one of the legs, including the neutral wire, and I re-put my wires back together. I had to re-spindle them together because otherwise they were not going to go through the pipe nicely and they were going to nick even more. And then I just put my rigid on and brought it back up the pole. This is like the hardest part, but it really wasn't that bad. This whole job took me about an hour, hour and a half. I had a guy come and help me at one point just to get this service mask up and then I just coiled my wire and I called the utility company and I said she's ready to hook up and that's it. I did put something there so that way it didn't nick the wire up at that top piece of rigid because they're going to put at least one to two pieces of PVC on, on top of that because that's their responsibility, thank God. So then I got another call that this customer's whole basement wasn't working and I noticed this was tripped and it wasn't resetting and at first I thought it was like a whole breaker issue so i found another breaker i took the panel apart and i took this breaker off and it was still doing weird shit so i unscrewed everything and then i was like shit wait a minute maybe it's just not tripping correctly so once it was off the panel and there was no power to it i re-hit the breaker and it actually trip it didn't trip this time and it was completely fine so it was not the breaker that was the issue you can see how disappointed I am. So I put it all back together and then I kind of thought out what was going on. I did get a call the day before because there was a plumber there installing a hot water heater and lo and behold, I found the issue and it was in the hot water heater. Um, I guess there was a previous nick in the wire and he didn't realize and he obviously didn't make the connections hot so he wouldn't have noticed initially, but so there was just a small nick where the lock nut was so i basically just repaired it stripped it back and put it in new and we had no more tripping issues then i finally got to the radiology building and it was about like two o'clock at this point i was dying but we had to make a hole outside so that way we can run a disconnect for chillers that are going to go outside in this radiology building and I also needed to start getting ready to run pipe from this huge switch gear here to a disconnect that we're going to install on the wall. I'll show you guys more later. But basically, I had to drill through the floor, get into this really small crawl space so that way I could figure out where exactly we needed to put our pipe. We have two pieces of four inch pipe. I used a hole saw to cut out these holes in the floor. And then from there, we ran the four inch EMT and i also had to cut out into the panel here and yes i'm pushing really hard on this bit but it's only because my bit is so dull now that i can barely even use it i just needed it to start the the run and then i used my milwaukee knockout set and i got it the rest done that way and so yeah this took me probably another two and a half hours it was just like the prep work was a lot but this is going to make it really easy for when we actually install the disconnect which i do have a video coming for you guys on that as well stay tuned but yeah this was a very eventful day and it's actually happened to me a lot and i'm over it i just want to be able to finish my job and then go to another job the emergencies are for the birds but it's where we make the money right so gotta hit them but yeah, so 
as I was saying, we are coming in from here into that other space where you saw me drilling the holes. And what we're planning on doing is feeding from that disconnect that we're going to be installing. We're going to be feeding four up parallel copper from that disconnect into a transformer and the transformer is going to jump into a second disconnect which is going to feed a lot of the medical equipment that we're actually going to have to run here we already have a transformer outside but we need another one for this specific piece of equipment it's for an mri machine specifically so it's like an mri integrated system so there's just like a lot of work here not to mention the fact that we still have to run the wire for the chillers and we still have to actually run wiring inside the the MRI room itself, which all has to be run through a raceway. It's gonna be super cool for me to video that for you guys and show you all of that. It's a big job and it's ongoing, but the deadline is next week. So you're gonna get a lot of content in a week or two because this job has to get finished. There's like no option. But yeah, this process was a little bit long considering I had somebody in the basement trying to feed me up this pipe and getting it to fit perfectly was like rough. I ended up doing way more motherfucking work than I thought I was gonna do. <laughs> um, just without my week has been going, but yeah. So this was my day. 